space coconut. Okay, so here it is, the Hag Perk tier list. This tier list is a ranking of all perks available as of patch 2.7.0 and how well they synergize with Lisa to do well in a match in their current state. General perk lists shouldn't be taken seriously unless they have a particular killer or playstyle in mind. This is why I decided to make this tier list and focus specifically on the hag and how well perks synergize with her. This entire list is based on my own opinion, so don't be too upset if your favorite hag perk isn't at the top. First, we'll get the trash perks out of the way. Beast of Prey, Fire Up, Hangman's Trick, Iron Maiden, Overwhelming Presence, Play With Your Food, and Remember Me. These are perks that are trash for killers in general, and shouldn't be used unless you don't have any other perks or you just want to try and make them work anyway. Next we'll get rid of the perks that are trash on the hag in particular. Bamboozle, Bitter Murmur, Barbecue and Chili, Brutal Strength, Discordance, Distressing, Enduring, Infectious Fright, Insidious, Lightborn, Pop Goes the Weasel, Spirit Fury, Surveillance, Tinkerer, and Unnerving Presence. All of these perks are either outclassed by good trap placement or her movement speed makes her unable to fully capitalize on the perk, or the downside of a perk becomes a stronger punishment for the hag more than it is on other killers. Monstrous Shrine, Agitation, Hex the Third Seal, Hex Huntress Lullaby, Hex Thrill of the Hunt, Iron Grasp, Mad Grit, Territorial Imperative, Overcharge, Dark Devotion, Blood Warden, Colrophobia, Thanatophobia, and Rancor are all meme perks that are fun, but for the most part they can't be called good on most killers outside of a particular build. Corrupt Intervention, Dying Light, Hex Devour Hope, Hex Ruin, yeah, Hex Ruin, and Spies from the Shadows would all be decent perks if they each had a small tweak to make them better. Next are the perks that are almost usable, but their downsides are too much and that makes them bad, or at least not as effective as they could be. This section also applies to all hex perks. Unfortunately, due to the weak totem mechanics, hex perks are a wasted slot in my opinion. The ease at which a survivor can take it out makes the risk far greater than the reward. The matches that still have a Hex Totem up at the end of a match are much fewer than those where the Hex gets taken out. The only exceptions to this are Noed and Haunted Grounds. Noed serves a double purpose, buying you time while survivors look for dull totems to cleanse, and giving you an insta-down if they fail to cleanse all of them. Noed effectively has 5 totems that need to be cleansed to deactivate the perk, while every other Hex perk has 1 totem to cleanse. Haunted Grounds was a community suggestion to solve the totem problem, watered down and sold to us as a DLC. This perk can be effective if survivors are greedy to cleanse a lit totem, but is dependent on killer to survivor locations when it activates. This randomness makes it weaker, and if survivors are paying attention, they won't cleanse the totem at all if they're not cursed, effectively countering the perk. This can be effective in conjunction with Noed or other hex perks creating a Russian roulette of hexes that can be fun to play, but not effective all of the time due to RNG. Totems still need to be tweaked as a mechanic and not band-aid fixed with more hex perks like Haunted Grounds. Now we can look at the perks that do their job well enough and can work with the hag at a very basic level. Bloodhound, Predator, Strider, Shadowborn, and Whispers can help with tracking, but become obsolete once you learn survivor patterns and how to use your traps to keep track of survivors. Deerstalker, Franklin's Demise, Knockout, Sloppy Butcher, and Unrelenting can each help with a certain aspect of a match, and you can utilize these to help strengthen a particular weakness or survivor type you have trouble against. Deerstalker can help you find slugged survivors if you lose track of them like I do. Franklin's Demise can take care of pesky keys and insta-heals, forcing survivors to use it at a time they might want to save it instead. 
Greedy survivors will always come back for the item, so you can trap it and maybe capitalize on their greed. This is less effective for toolboxes, but it's pretty good for all other items. Knockout can help slow the game down, but perks like Empathy or Bond or Survive with Friends comms and small maps can make it not completely useless, but much less effective than it could be on larger maps or without those perks and benefits. The Sloppy Butcher has the most reliable and effective anti-healing effect available to killers. Unrelenting can be useful if you miss your swings after a teleport often or keep forgetting about that survivor with dead hard. Maybe you miss and will recover in time to teleport and hit them at another location right away. I use this when I'm feeling kind of off in my matches, or I'm just going with a simple M1 build and I didn't want to spend more time trying to pick that fourth perk. Barbecue and Chili is special. It's not particularly good on the hag since she can't capitalize on the aura information as well due to her movement speed. She can't get to survivors in time before they move from wherever it was that you saw them. Much less than other killers anyway. But using this to farm blood points can still be pretty nice, just like any other killer. Haunted Grounds can be powerful if you already have traps set, and a survivor cleanses this, giving you the opportunity to hit, teleport, and hit more survivors. This is highly situational and luck based, but the payoff can be pretty powerful. Now for the good ones. These are in alphabetical order and are on this part. Uh, let me remind you, this is just my opinion. A Nurse's Calling. Because the perk's effective radius is 28 meters and the hag's terror radius is 24 meters, she can see a healing survivor before they hear the heartbeat and stop healing. This can help her tracking quite a bit if you need it, but the current healing meta might have made this perk less impactful since survivors seem to heal less often. Hex, no one escapes death. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Since the hag requires a bit of setup time at the start of the match, you might find yourself hooking your first survivor with one to three gens being finished. Noed can help alleviate the pressure you'll feel when gens pop off pretty quickly due to the time that it takes you to set traps. This isn't necessary to win, but being able to relax when gens are going off pretty quickly will help your enjoyment of the match very much. Make your choice. For a long time, I loved this perk. A survivor blindly rescuing another off of a hook could mean a teleport and an insta-down for the hag. Unfortunately, more skilled survivors know how to crouch during a rescue and can greatly reduce the effectiveness of this perk. It's still very synergetic with the hag, but it depends on the skill of the survivors you go against. If you find yourself getting few or zero insta-downs with this perk, look at other perks to find one that will fit your playstyle and will actually have an impact on the match for you. Monitor and Abuse Thanks to our already small terror radius, Monitor and Abuse drops it even further to 16 meters, making her a very sneaky killer. This is very effective for helping the hag get close, giving the survivor less time to react or get away before the chase begins. Save the best for last. I found myself using this perk more often on Spirit, and I believe I'll start using it more often on Hag. The possibility of hitting a survivor and recovering in time to teleport and hit them again sounds very powerful. Now for the most important part of this list. Just because a perk might not be at the top of this list doesn't mean it's completely useless. The fact that perks can be combined can make up for their weaknesses, and the fact that the hag is a very versatile killer means that there are several effective ways to use her even with less than amazing perks. The most powerful combo I can think of for the hag is a nurse's calling and monitor and abuse. A 16 meter terror radius and a 4 point something movement speed means that you'll have 2 seconds of aura visibility on a healing survivor before they hear your heartbeat and stop healing to hide. Plenty of time to close the distance and get a hit in. Brutal strength, overcharge, and pop goes the weasel. You save a few seconds when smashing gens, and regress the generator after hooking a survivor, but you're still traveling to each gen at hag speed. Franklin's Demise and Save the Best for Last Really greedy and cocky survivors will grab their item immediately after it drops, and dead hard out of the way before taking the second hit. If you have enough stacks, 
they're going to get down and the item loses 20% of its charge. I'm sure there are other combos of perks that work well together that you can synergize with the hag's power. But as I look at the list of weaker perks, I can't see any combos other than meme builds that would work really well with the hag. Builds that rely on the mint rag add-on can't be practiced reliably, which means you can't really flesh out a build. But the add-on does open up some funny possibilities with some weaker perks. My favorite of which is the mint rag coupled with make your choice for some pretty effective distance camping. That's basically it. You can apply the same system to any killer you prefer and rank the perks as you see fit. Some perks work better on some killers than others, so when you're looking at trying something new or something effective, take a good look at how you want to play a particular killer and then pick perks that will help you in that playstyle or will cover the weaknesses of that playstyle. Using Iron Maiden on the Doctor sounds pretty effective to me, just as an example. I hope you found this interesting and maybe you can point out some combinations that I missed or didn't think about. Maybe even debate my opinion for perks that you think work better than I think they do. Let's have a conversation about it in the comments. If you like this type of video, I might do one for my other favorite killers as well. I'm not an expert, but I'm getting pretty good with Spirit, so I might make one for her. I guess we'll see what happens. Until then, I'll see you in the fog. <laughs>